Although Nazi Germany and her armed forces were completely defeated in May 1945 and her navy abolished, three of the most advanced U-boats went on to serve the new Federal German Republic. In June and August 1956, two World War II era Type 23 U-boats were raised from the Baltic Sea where they had been scuttled by the Kriegsmarine shortly before Nazi Germany's surrender. U-2365 had been launched in Hamburg on the 26th of January 1945 and commissioned into the Kriegsmarine on the 2nd of March. She was scuttled on the 8th of May northwest of Anhalt in the Kattegat. The former Nazi U-boat entered service with the Bundesmarine, the West German Navy, in 1957 as the High, pennant number 170. She was used for training until the 14th of September 1966 when she was lost in the North Sea off Heligoland, near the Dogger Bank, in a marine accident. The accident tragically killed 19 out of the 20 crew aboard. It was the worst death toll in the Bundesmarine's history. Ray's the critically damaged S-70 was decommissioned and scrapped in Emden in 1968. The second Type 23 U-boat, U-2367, was commissioned into the Bundesmarine on the 1st of October 1957 as the Hecht, S-171. She'd been commissioned into the wartime Kriegsmarine in March 1945, but never saw any action. She too had been scuttled to prevent capture. She finally ended her naval career in 1968 and was scrapped in Kiel the following year. The West Germans also raised an example of a larger Nazi period Type 21 electroboat, the U-2540. Commissioned on the 24th of February 1945 as part of the 31st U-boat flotilla for training purposes, the boat had gone to the front to the U-boat base at Schwienemunde, but lack of fuel prevented her from performing a war patrol, and she was scuttled by her crew near the Flensburg lightship on the 4th of May 1945. Rebuilt and commissioned into the Bundesmarine as the research vessel Wilhelm Bauer on the 1st of September 1960, the boat served until 1968 when it was decommissioned for engineering work, and then was recommissioned in May 1970 and used for experimental purposes. In 1980 she was damaged in an underwater collision with a German destroyer and taken out of service. Retired finally on the 15th of March 1982, this German World War II U-boat was acquired and displayed by the German Maritime Museum Bremerhaven in April 1984. The museum has returned her to how she would have looked during the Second World War. If you've enjoyed this short film, please don't forget to subscribe. Many thanks.